Welcome back guys, Wolf's Lullaby here, and today we're playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Actually, I'm not playing, it is actual uh, gameplay recording footage or whatever. Me recorded by me, fuck, I can't even talk. But it is footage in the background of me playing some Kill Confirmed earlier today. I think it was like a 40 kill game on Kill Confirmed at the map Casino. It's a very fun game. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the gameplay in the background, as you guys can tell by the title. This is a video of what I want to see in the next Call of Duty, whether it be Modern Warfare 4, or if it's just a completely new series. I know it's been leaked that it's supposed to be Modern Warfare 4, but I'm going to take leaks with a grain of salt because, you know, that's how you should always take any sort of leak. It's not always true, not always factual. Until there is actual concrete evidence that the next Call of Duty will be Modern Warfare 4, I will not believe it. But anyway, we're going to hop right on into this list, and the very first thing I want to get off my chest is that I really, 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 I can't stress this enough, I really want to see a story-driven campaign in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, if that were to be the case. If not, and if it's a new series or whatever, I would like to see a really nice campaign in Call of Duty 2019. I'm going to call it Call of Duty 2019 until obviously we get concrete evidence so bear with me on that but just to base it off of this year's game wasn't necessarily the greatest other than the fact that multiplayer was eh blackout it is kind of fun but i kind of think it got a little too repetitive in a way like it's cool to see the little events that they're doing with it but i just want to be able to sit back enjoy a nice campaign of some uh shooter genre I know there's a lot of shooter genres, but Call of Duty and Halo were these games that I grew up with, and I can't play Halo anymore because I don't got a. I haven't worked in Xbox, but I don't play Xbox anymore. I'm a full-on PlayStation gamer. I love both consoles, but I just prefer the PlayStation over the Xbox. I know I'm gonna get hate down there and probably start a console war, but that is my idea. Next Call of Duty has to have a story-driven campaign. On to the next one. It has, in my opinion, the next Call of Duty needs to have a good multiplayer. Uh, the ways they could achieve this, in my honest opinion, would be bringing in kind of like some sort of ranked matchmaking. Having it be maybe dedicated servers so there's not nearly the amount of lag. I, I'm not too, I guess, technologically advanced or any of that, so I don't know how well the dedicated servers actually do work or if they would work. Uh, and then on top of it, just have it ranked. Like, even casual play... When I mean ranked, not like how they do it on Rainbow Six Siege. Have it ranked to where it's just like you get a 15 kill game, you get 20 deaths or whatever, wherever the KDR for that. You'll be paired with players in the same pool as players who have that same exact KDR or maybe around in that area. I think that would be a great way to make this next year's Call of Duty even better. Dedicated servers, obviously, remove anything that's going to be connection based. There's a lot of players that I'm sure are really, really good, but connection issues can limit back any player when you're playing online. And to see them do league play this year, I would like to see that also come back. So even if, even a competitive mode and then you have the casual mode. Competitive mode, do it exactly like, or not exactly like Rainbow Six, but you know, kind of base it off of that. This year, it's very difficult to di understand how far you are in the divisions or whatever. I personally don't understand it too well, but to have this multiplayer, in my opinion, succeed is to basically say what I just said, and then you can face people around in your skill set. I feel like they'd be able to, to warrant some pretty good gameplay and make the game very fun and rewarding to all players. Kind of sounds like a participation trophy sort of deal, but to basically... I've had issues with this game where I play a game and I get paired with teammates who either A, don't know what the fuck they're doing, or B, have never really, or really don't want to win. I have a very competitive nature, so I want to win, but there's also a side of me where I want to fuck around. So I think there's some sort of, like, maybe middle ground they'll be able to get to. I don't know. That's what I would, I would like to see, but I'm going to move on to the next topic. That is the end of that topic. Uh, my third topic, it's out of four. Is a modern style war game, or war or modern warfare styled game, just the modern warfare era. It doesn't even have to be the next modern warfare or the next Call of Duty be another modern warfare. Just something to do with modern today, like today's warfare. I don't. 
I really don't want to see any more specialists. I think it's only a Black Ops or Black Ops Treyarch thing. I don't think it's been in any other Call of Duties. There's some Halo shit. But uh, I don't think it's been in any other Call of Duties besides that. So hopefully they keep staying with that route and kind of make it more of a modern styled war game. Kind of like Battlefield 3 and then uh, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2. I think they can do it. And then as long as well with that, I'm going to give them an idea. I'm sure it's already an idea. I'm sure they're already doing it. But we'll release Modern Warfare 2 with this next game and I guarantee you I will fucking buy it day one. I give no fucks how much it is unless it's more than 150 bucks because that's the most I'm paying. And then that is actually the end for that topic and I'm going to move into my very last and final topic for this video. And then you guys will watch the rest of this gameplay. It's very short wish li wish list lies. Wish list. Wish list guys. Uh... I will make ones in the future once we have concrete or actual uh, ideas of what the next Call of Duty is so I can kind of base more of my wish list off of it. But anyway, the last one is going to be no microtransactions slash pay to wins. And it's also going to be involving DLC, which aren't usually pay to win, but I don't... It's like Star Wars Battlefront 2 when it released. I heard a lot of bad things about it. I only played the, st the story mode for the game. And I could tell you it wasn't really the greatest story that I've ever played. I didn't like it. Others probably did. My opinion, whatever. Uh, I don't want to see him go down their route. I think the Star Wars issue was that they did have the loot crates or whatever. And it was, I think, designed to be a pay-to-win. Something like that where someone figured that out. They tried to rework it. It was too late. I don't want to see him go down that route. I love... I love the Call of Duty franchise. I've been playing since Call of Duty Finest Hours very long time ago. A lot of you guys won't know that, especially if you're a younger uh, younger age group. That was a game that I played on the PlayStation 2. You guys kind of have an idea of how old I am. I was a young child playing that, those styled games and all the way through the rest of the Call of Duties. I've played, I think, just about any Call of Duty that I know of that was released in the United States of America. But... To go on to the last topic with this kind of like sub, it's kind of like a subtopic is DLCs. I would like to see them be free. Uh, growing up when I was a young kid, you paid a $60 game. You'd got everything in that game. There was no add-ons, nothing. You played the game. I would love to see them do that, but I know working hard, making new maps and all that. I understand paying a uh, amount of money to obviously support the people who created the map. But, I don't know, it's kind of more nostalgia for me. It doesn't have to happen, it's just something I would like to see. I don't care too much about it, so if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be fucking butthurt about it or some shit like that. I would just love to see that that would happen. I'm not too worried about it. I'm fine with paying 20 bucks for a DLC. Don't do Black Ops, don't be, make a $50 Black Ops pass just so you guys can have the new DLC. I don't think that's fair to anybody. Especially if you want to enjoy the DLC and then know that you have to pay 50 bucks. I mean, it's not too bad. It could be worse. I just don't like that idea. And honestly, I think it's actually cheaper than past Call of Duties. But anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Unfortunately, that is the end of this video. There will be a part two to this kind of series leading up to the next Call of Duty. I will do this for practically any new game coming up. My wish list that I know about that is a game that I like to play or a series that I like to play. Especially with the new Battlefield, I haven't heard no information about any of these games other than the fact that Call of Duty was leaked as Modern Warfare 4. Take it with a grain of salt. You didn't hear it from me first. I think it was actually reported from Gaming Intel or something like that. They saw it first. Go after them. Don't go after me. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. If, I really hope I made your guys' day better, made you smile, or you guys were just having a great day. Either way, it works for me. My name is Wolf Sullaby, and we will see you guys in the next one.
another day, another dollar.